Hey guys, welcome back. It has been such a long time since we've played. It doesn't uh, feel like long enough. <laughs> Elizabeth's back. I know y'all are excited. Also, ah. speaking of, you shared a video of me talking about your mythic side of the family to your mythic side of the family, and they told me I was so embarrassed. <laughs> about Uncle. Uncle pretty John. boy, Uncle pretty, pretty boy. boy. Yeah, he's still pretty boy. <laughs> I pray every day that when you age, you age and look just like him. I think it's too late. Like you, know, you can quit praying now. <laughs> it's not too late. It's too late. I mean, he has a rounder age. face. You have the face. You, you have like you don't have the mythic shaped face. The mythics have very round faces. Yours is very like narrow. You got your you know mom's side of that. Yeah. But when you bald, you could still look just as good. Well, I think Uncle John, I think he shaves off his hair. Like, he doesn't even do that, he, like, old man with the hair around the... I'm, okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. Yeah. When you turn into that, I will beg you to just shave it off. Just commit. <laughs> just commit. I feel like the, like the side look, it's just not... It would remind me too much of my dad. Because Aww. all of my life, my dad has just had the side hair and no top hair. What if I want to be like your dad? You have good characteristics like my dad, but you don't need to have his hair because it'd be weird. I don't know if I would be ready for that. <laughs> but I also, I, you know what I realized? Oh, boy. I truly, I mean, somebody who knows biology and knows science could prove me wrong. But I truly oh, believe such an idiot. it is a false rumor so huh i'm so dumb yeah, go yeah. go ahead nothing to see here I'm, I'm just dumb go ahead you forgot the song didn't you no i played the do wrong you, one do you know all the songs now uh, you still have more to learn anyway so i believe it's a false rumor that um balding for a man you're gonna know you're balding is through your mother, like from your mother's dad. You think that's false? I think that's false. Well, you that's know, what I've heard. You know, I think it's false. Why? Because you are balding identical to your father. What if, what if my all, mom's dad is balding identical to my father? And first of all, that doesn't make any sense. <coughs> okay? That okay. logically makes no sense. Because. I love this song. Go ahead. Everything else. Unless it lies on your Y chromosome alone, everything else is up to fate. It's the Punnett square they show you that four, and it's like dominant, not like recessive, and then there's some that are like co dominant and stuff like that. Unless it lies on your Y chromosome or your uh -huh. X chromosome alone, it cannot be, you cannot identify that every man gets it from their mother. And if it lies on your X chromosome, then why do women not bald? Because if it lies on your X chromosome, then it would mean if your dad balded and your your mom's dad balded, then like you're gonna get it. Also, like it just it just doesn't make any sense. Because again, that X chromosome that the boy has comes from his mother. So like that would mean that if you're Say, say Papa bald, went bald, right? Uh -huh. Then that would mean his mother would have went bald. Because his he gets the X chromosome from his mother. And you're saying every X, like, and you don't know if that X chromosome she gets is from her mom or her dad, because she gets both. So that is a, I 100% believe it's a myth. I've never Googled it. Well, My I don't have much chance when I've got balding on both sides. Okay, but you bald just... You and your dad have balding identical. Your hair... The hairline... Please don't say that. It's <laughs> the same. But here, look at his hope. He's not fully bald yet. He still has hair on the top of his head. That's a quote from the Goofy movie. <laughs> not quote the Goofy. Please, Someone please, can please, prove me wrong. Please don't say that, Dad. But it makes no sense to me. Because... Like, that would say that Joseph wouldn't bald, because my grandpa didn't bald. And your brother is far from balding. 
He's also 25. Like, I, not every man that balds, balds at, you know, 25. You sure. did, but you're also not bald. You have, like, thin hair and you have one spot, but that spot has never grown. Yeah. Versus, like, other people we know that it's grown drastically in a short amount of time. Yours hasn't changed. You, your hair receded, and then you have a spot, and then it's stayed the same since. No. I don't live. Thought I could get that. I just don't believe it. Someone could prove me wrong. But genetically, it makes no sense. Um. Where are you, by the way? I am in the spirit temple. Does that mean this game's almost over? Oh, apparently I've got to play it closer. Don't get hit. Do do do. Boom, boo, do, 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 do. How in the world am I gonna? Oh, good night. <laughs> How funny would it be if you died via? Uh, How in the world am I gonna get that? The likelihood of dying of a gold skatula. Is there like a thing above it? How do I get that? Jump. <sighs> am I being? A dummy head yep. right now. Absolutely. I don't know. Yep. I should have checked. Well, I honestly didn't know where this block of time was going. Uh, watch. Watch out. On oh, out. Oh, good night. Good job. You I'm literally never, walked into it. I'm never gonna get this coin. You can. Just oh, I think I know I'm gonna oh good night. <laughs> I totally saw that coming. <laughs> that was funny. Millie, stop biting my hands. That was not I was just giving you love. There we go. Don't bite okay, me. Okay, so you should be able to get it like that. All this time. <laughs> so my dad's response to his gift is it's just too much fun. Dude, wasn't he basically saying that he's clueless? He didn't know how to do it. Someone was like on Thanksgiving when we were out there, people were sending him gifts and like that were Thanksgiving related. And he goes, where did they get these? And then I showed him the gift keyboard, like, you know, the wow. thing in your messages. And he is, he is so good. He just places them just right. And they're <laughs> so funny. Well, he's a man of many talents. Yes. Like making beautiful daughters. I've never also texted my dad as much since and then since Thanksgiving. I think since he uses the gifts, he will text more now. Well, good. I still don't text my mom, though. That's not good. No. I don't know what I would do if I finally happened, Elizabeth. What's I, up? I got eaten by that but thing. I wasn't paying attention. You said it was creepy, but nothing oh. happened. Didn't you already have that? Okay. Yeah, you already had it. No, but I, um... You lost But it. whenever those things eat you, they steal your stuff. Okay. It won't show me the question. <clears throat> yeah. That's dumb. Something tells me. Something tells me. What is here? Can't see. I dropped it for you, really. Go get it. Something tells me that I should push it this way. <laughs> I'll go backwards. Point it to the sun. Uh, well, there's four of them, bruh. Why are you biting me? I didn't mean for your toy to drop. She just bit me. Well, like, playfully. She didn't bite me. She's in a chewing mood. Hey, it was Wonder right. She's te she must be teething. You got a tooth coming in? Boy. Did you know that you could have their teeth removed? Like their baby teeth removed? When she, when we got Millie spayed, they ask you, do you want their baby teeth removed? Uh-huh. And I, 
of course said no. It didn't make any sense. And they didn't even like push it. They were just like, this is an option. They said, we don't really recommend it to look the dogs like a year old and they're just not coming out. Hmm. And even then I would, unless it's like a big deal, if their baby teeth doesn't fall out, just not ready yet. Let it be. Yeah. I did not know they recommended that. A <laughs> <coughs> little baby. I really don't remember this place very well. Good. Finally a challenge. Is, are you Googling it, though? No, I'm just struggling. She's going to end up eating this entire toy. She's going to eat all of her toys. At least she's chewing on her toys and not her stuff. Yeah. I suppose. What should I do? What is your New Year's resolution? It's 2023. It's so weird. Uh, I didn't mean to use this again. Um. Um. Give me the chunk you're eating. Give it. Thank you. At least if I can catch you eating it, I can take it. Number one, um, you and I to, like, ensure that we read every day from the Bible. Yeah. That one's uh, been... I have never been so excited for a Bible. Yeah? Like, I mean, okay, I wanted, I got a Bible when I was baptized, and then I had a Bible before that, a little blue one. And then I got one when I was 19 because my Bible when I was baptized is King James. And I wanted a new King James. Uh -huh. And I love all of my Bibles. I need to find my blue one. I may have left that one back in California. Man, there may be a stinking... I don't know how I'm going to get over here. I have a lot of Bibles. But continue. So you're reading more? Uh, yeah, I would say to read more. I gotta hop to that hand somehow. I would say, like, I want to read more, but I also want to study more. Like, I feel like I was used to growing up a study every Monday. Mm -hmm. And when I moved out here, I, ne I like, never had a study. Picked it back up. Yeah. And I mean, that's not true. I mean, we've studied sometimes, but, like, I think it, like, now with, like, the building being renovated, I feel like we can meet, like, there if we wanted to study with somebody instead of having to, like, meet in our homes and stuff where there's, it can be bigger just. Mm hmm But. Uh, no, that's good. Um. I mean, that's that's part of it. Like that, would you consider that your resolution? One of your resolutions? Yeah. Just to study more. I enjoyed watching um, that Randy Tidmore sermon. Yeah. Together, um, the other night, like that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. That's why, like, so, like, <clears throat> that's one of the things. So, like, I'm learning with like my new diagnosis with fibromyalgia is that like my thing whenever listening to a sermon has always been to take notes like non-stop i keep my head down and just keep writing because uh -huh. that's always been how i best remember those sermons right. but now with joint pain and stiffness and stuff i can't write as much I can't right. write three, four pages a sermon. It, it hurts too much to do that. And so I started limiting myself to one page and sitting there and just listening to the sermon and being like, what what do I want to write down to remember? Right. And that's helped a lot too because now I'm actually focused on what is the takeaways versus I'm writing everything down just so that I soak up all of it. Now I'm just trying to soak like I'm paying enough attention to soaking up the, the details right and I I it's interesting because like I I don't know I've always been a note taker like a 
very big note taker through college. It's why I was so successful in college is because I would sit there and everything the professor said, I would just write it down. Like, you know, some people, I never understood how my classmates could oh, sit there during a lecture and barely write anything down. Right. Because I'm sitting there where every word they say is like gold. Right. And, um, but now it's like, now I'm focused and trying to find the key details. And it's different because, you know, when, when you're in, obviously in a lecture in college, they're giving you all the details. They're not fluffing, right. and trying to give explanation and then say the detail like a sermon is. So I'm excited about the Bible because I'm getting the journaling Bible. Right. I really like the idea of putting all of it in one place because what I'm used to is writing those notes and then just chucking the notebook. I don't keep it. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't keep them because... First of all, I never was one to look back on them. And there was that was never the intention when writing. The intention in writing was to soak up the sermon at the time. It was never, let me write it in a way I can look back on it and understand. Right. It was just, I want to soak it up. But now I'm like, if I put it in one place in the Bible and I highlight and I, you know, put those sticky notes, those really pretty, give me the next one. Swallow another one. Give it. What is it? Ben's fire this guy. I have to like shove my hand in her throat. Anyway, um, I think it'll be nice because I can see how the sermons kind of build upon each other, you know, across time frame. Yeah. Uh, because imagine, like, you know, if <coughs> I write a note about a verse, if I decide to highlight it or underline it or you know, circle a keyword or write a note to the side about it. I get to see that when someone else quotes that verse, you know, okay. and then be able to see like, oh, look, this is how the verse is like also used. Or I can better, like better look at a sermon and not just soak it up as what the person is saying is all true is being able to say like, well, I've heard it like the verse explained this way and I've heard the verse explained this way. And then like be like, well, clearly there's some contradiction in what man is saying. Right. So now I need to see what God is saying. That's right. So I just think it'll be a cool way to look at it. What is another resolution other than reading? Um. Oh man. Um. I think, like, just getting more, um, I would say getting more serious about, um, like, just how to get into a house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I've, like, I just kind of kept it off in the distance for a long time, and it's not the best. My own, like... <laughs> I, I'm not in a hurry to get into a house right now. Yeah. Everything. But the only thing that makes me excited for a house is that I don't have to go upstairs to a second floor apartment. Sure. True. But I don't like before I wanted a home that was like at least 15 square feet, which isn't a very big home. But yeah. I was like, at least 15 square feet. I feel like it's spacious. But now I'm like, I don't care what the size of the house is. I want a home that I can make my own, right? right? Like, no matter the size, I can renovate and redo things and spend time in it. And like, like we've kind of talked about, we don't know. The mirror shield. We don't, we don't know. There's, how many shields are there? Three? Three, yeah. Why is the other one dark? Did you lose it? Um... I can't equip it as an adult. Oh, it's a baby link only? It's a baby link only. That's kind of weird. What? But, um... But this sh shield I'm wearing right now is pretty. an adult link only, and it looks awesome. You should... Wait, pause. Go to your thing. Go to the side. And wear the red. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Now we're styling. You barely touched it. Oh, what did it do? It changed to a creepy face. <laughs> but, you know, you, you people tell you that, like, things will happen in your life that'll change and, you, you know... You, you, when you get married, you, you know, things will come up and, you know, you won't, you'll have this dream image of what you want. Or how things should go. And how things should go, and oftentimes it doesn't happen. And what's so sad is, I mean, I, we, what, we were married three years before, like, together, and things were just still going down that path of, like, what I imagined yeah. life would be like. I'm a teacher, we're gonna have two kids, you know, we're happy, like, we're, you know, I've got, I've got so much handled, and then you get a chronic illness, yeah. and you have to let go of that, some of that stuff, like, it is a stupid thing to have let go, but I, obviously still having no kids, I've heard plenty of stories of people who have had kids who have gone through the process of giving birth and the differences that they they have and I always had this image of like I've, I've never been like the person who had this dream motherhood because I feel like being a teacher I've learned so much about kids that like you just you learn to handle the kids you have and you learn their personality and you work with it <laughs> I've never had this dream child um, until we had JJ <laughs> until <laughs> Yeah. But I would like I did imagine what like how I wanted to this is very detailed give birth. <laughs> really? I wanted to do the natural way. Like I Oh, no pain meds or no anything. No pain meds, nothing. I wanted to I didn't want to do it in the hospital. I wanted to go and right on. Uh do it through, you know, uh birth center and stuff like that. And now I'm like, nope. Give me all the pain meds. I don't need that. Like, because the truth is, is that first of all, I don't know what pregnancy is going to be like, but pain is amplified for me and recovery is like lengthened. So giving birth is a beautiful thing, but it's never, it's not going to be the same as if I had a kid, <coughs> if I wait, if we had a kid when I was 23 versus when I have a kid 27, right? Yeah. Like 27, I've got this chronic illness that amplifies all of my nerve pain. To where if I give, if I give birth with no pain meds, it's going like the like just according to the average woman's pain level, right? Yeah. If they say giving birth is a 10, mine's going to be like a 12, 15, 12, 15, you know, you know, somewhere in there. Good night. And then the recovery is longer. An average woman's six weeks, mine probably will be longer mm. because it just. It is what it is. Yeah. And that's fine. But I'm over. If I can have a moment during that whole process where they give me beds in my back and I don't have to feel the pain, I'm taking the, I'm taking the, the pain meds. Sure. I remember my mom when I first told her, I was like, I'm going to go natural, mom. She was like, you, you have no pain tolerance. That's when I was like 23, right? She's like, no, nah, you, you won't be able to handle it. And yeah. that made me feel more empowered. Like, how could I do it? And then I'm like, nah. Also, you know, all these beautiful mothers who, you know, breastfeed and stuff. I'm like, nope, that's not happening. No. No. Because can you imagine? Like, because. All right. New, new subject. New, about, okay, fine. But it's we just, can move on. <laughs> I don't feel like it's that detailed. No. That working. wasn't where I was going. I was going more of like. Being the only so, like person who can help feed your baby, and not being able to have anyone that helps you, oh. and I'm like, nah, I need all the help I can get. Pass the baby, take it. Oh, I got gotcha. you. But again, I'm getting on it. Are you supposed to move that in a way that it like perfectly hits? Yeah, I'm something? supposed to move it to the left. Well, then move it to the left. That's what I'm trying to do. Why won't it move? It will. I'm just bumbling. You're a little weak, boy. Having a little bit of weakness. You need some muscles. No. Oh. Good night. Yeah, no. All the lizard people. 
I don't feel like the blinding... You just killed someone. You Dude, have you been that? watching this whole game? I know, but I, I just like... like everyone. Real... <laughs> I just realized you killed something. Yeah. Like... You're yeah. like Batman when he was bad. Kyle, was a... Kyle would tell you Batman was never bad. Okay, but when Batman was killing people... You're just like barely off. I'm not off. I'm you didn't right. get the little green thing. I'm right on, boy. I'm not a boy. Anyway, wait, okay. The so focusing on a house, what's another resolution? Mm. Oh wait, you gave one. I gave one. You gave one. Okay, so now I have to give one. I need to tell you my second one. I don't think I've thought of a second one. Um <laughs> Sleeping more. Bam. Met it. There you go. <laughs> no, that's actually not one. I sleep enough. Um... Oh, man. It's we're... Just Dude, we're so close to the end of this. Wow. Dude. Alright, you're done with this. You're just seriously just eating. It's trash now. It's gone. Dude. You're almost oh. done? Dude, we're so close. Like, I cannot believe this. It's trash down there. Bro, I didn't know how close know. we were. Go pick a different toy to eat for a little bit, and then I'll take that one away. You're just eating pieces of it, and that's not good for you. Cool song. That's creepy. Why are you? What is this? They're twin sisters. They honestly look like some getting into the old ladies from Oklahoma in the church. Oh, well, that's nice. Like, are you coming over for biscuits and gravy? <laughs> I've made some sausage gravy. No one ever comes over anymore. Even when I make my famous sausage and biscuits. Gravy. Poor Millie, she's trying to find her toy. What is this? Is this the boss you have to kill? Dude, I love that little snap. Dude, so intense. You have to kill that thing? Yeah, but... What do you want to say? <laughs> it's not that hard? No, oh, good night. Alright, guys. He did not prepare his heart for killing a boss, so no, he's I definitely gonna die. That's right. And this is gonna be great. Let's enjoy the show. Come on. How do you know how close you are to killing the boss? Because you know how some games they show well, you like- Well, it'll the... shed some armor in a second. Okay, but- Woo! It's close. And I think I may die. Oh, never mind. No armor shed. Oh, that's Naomi. <gasps> the girl that um, I met like seven years ago. Millie, no. Well. Your first girlfriend? No. Uh, where am I? Well, 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 looks like she's back to normal, Kayum. We just made sausage biscuits and gravy. Charles! <laughs> Why did I think that that's actually what it said? I was like, what? <laughs> Millie, no. It looks like that she doesn't want any more biscuits. She's not chunky enough. Yeah. She needs to fatten up. Wow, they just like took her soul. Good night. Body and all. Okay, all right. so my next resolution. Can you save it for next episode? Because we're, we're moving. Going in. We're done? Dude, I'm actually not at all prepared. I need bye, to get bye, some bye. lives. I need to get some lives real quick. Then next episode, we're going to go in there and <gasps> defeat those twins. Okay. And get some sausage. But there's a new mug I have to get from right now. Get some dad. biscuits and gravy. Sausage gravy.